but not the temperatures. They're going down. We it's are going to see some, outside. Yeah, and yeah. we're going to see some changes as we head over the weekend. We're talking about a couple mm -hmm. storm systems, which is what we've been waiting for, right? It, it's it is Can't March. Wait, really? Yeah. We need the rain. We do. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting to see the first storm system kind of roll in uh, late on your Saturday and then kind of pushing through on Sunday, the next one into Monday. So we'll kind of get to the timing of that. But you can see right now it's kind of an overcast look of downtown Los Angeles right now as those clouds continue to roll into the area. So throughout the day, mostly cloudy conditions and temperatures are staying kind of in the 60s and 70s, 66 degrees right now at USC, 67 for LAX Fullerton up to about 70 degrees. So we have two storms that are going to expecting to bring rain and even some mountain snow as well. And it looks like by the end of these two storms, we could see anywhere from an inch to an inch to two and a half inches from the coast and the valleys to two to four inches in the foothills and the mountains. Snow levels, expect them to drop down to about 4,000 feet by your Monday. It looks like that's going to be the colder system pushing through. Snow levels will stay a bit higher as we head into your Sunday. And thunderstorms, certainly a possibility too, as we start out your work week. With that, we could see the winds pick up, but it looks like more in through portions of San Bernardino County. It looks like up, in, up into Apple Valley, and this will stay into effect right on through the weekend until about the 8 o'clock hour. We are also going to notice that surf really starting to kick up as well. So it looks like throughout the weekend we could see uh, surf getting up to 10 to 15 uh, feet right on through about Sunday night. Then as we head into Monday and Tuesday, we could even see higher surf as well, kind of moving through with that strong rip currents and the possibility of minor flooding. So we'll kind of put this into motion, kind of let you know what we are dealing with. The first storm moving through into late Saturday into early morning Sunday. It's kind of fast moving, so it could push out and we could actually see some clearing by the latter part of the day. By your Monday, this is the stronger storm system. This really expecting to bring us rain throughout the day on your Monday. High temperatures today staying into the 70s. We're going to see temperatures up to about 73 for San Bernardino, 75 in Riverside, and getting up to about 67 degrees in through Anaheim. Along the coast, we'll keep those temperatures into the 60s and then really kind of staying put into the 70s through places like Northridge, San Fernando, up into Santa Clarita, we'll get up to about 73 degrees. Here's a look at your extended forecast. So for tomorrow, we'll see even more in the way of cloud cover. We might actually get a little bit of drizzle, so sort of on and off uh, showers throughout the day on Saturday, but mostly dry. Then into your Sunday, that's when we see that first shot of rain, and it looks like the best chance at this point for getting some wet weather is in the morning hours. It's certainly not going to be a washout for the entire day, so it looks like we'll kind of dry out towards the afternoon and evening hours. But into your Monday, that again is going to be the stronger of the two storm systems bringing that potential for rain for most of the day and snow as well. We'll clear out Tuesday through your Thursday, and we're kind of watching right now, but it looks like we could even see another storm pushing through by the end of the work week. In through the Inland Empire, expect that rain to push on through into your Sunday, and we could see wind picking up as well.